Hello, Christy. Uh, I, I like your painting with light. That's always a fun thing to do, and it's you know it's relatively easy, and the results can be really neat looking. I think taking it to the next level is kind of a trick, though. You know, I'll see these kind of portfolios sometime. I would just look for ways to uh, to mix things up a little. You know, um, changing the, the white balance or the light. Try different kinds of color lights could be very helpful. <clears throat> also, you know, I like this one a lot. I mean, this, I thought it was a, a field for a second of grass that you have lit but another thing you could do was be try to draw certain things you could try to draw like houses or you know names or question marks you could do all kind of kind of wild things with this you can also set the exposure of the environment that way you can actually see what your uh, the environment you're photographing in but have that long enough exposure that you can uh, draw things with it also another thing you can do with this kind of photography is um, use something like a flashlight and actually uh, just paint whatever it is you want to photograph. I'll do this quite a bit, even with still life, and when I can't get the lighting just right in the studio, I'll take my flashlight and maybe put something over it to diffuse it, and I'll just paint it with my flashlight, and that gives me the ability to light it the way I want to. But, you know, I, these are very, like, very fun. Looks like you got very creative with this. I don't know if the people really um, added anything to it or not. But uh, it looks like you definitely uh, took a different direction with this. And this might be something you can uh, I would continue to explore if I was you. I'd also edit these down to a dozen or so images. That way there's a little bit of repetition is, lo is lost. And if we could, like I said, if you could find a way to maybe change the color to light, even the direction of these things where you go. And you do go round sometime and squirrely back and forth and zigzag. But you do have the ability, you know, that there's endless possibilities with this. I've seen all kind of really neat things. You could even actually, you know, tie a light on the end of a string and be able to make all kind of like uh, spirographs and things like that. Uh, you know, you need to have that out of focus. So they're, they're consistent. And some of your most successful ones are some of these. And I think your presentation looks good. And overall, I think this is a really neat um, experience, something you can experiment with, but also continue on in the future and keep working with it. But think about the idea of actually using um, uh, objects that are part of the picture that you are either um, exposing for them with a the long exposure, maybe late in the evening, um, or also just creating things you know with your light that is going to have that kind of optical illusion for a second, where it looks like it might be, you know, it could be real or it could be. Um, drawn and that would be another kind of direction you could take this but i thought overall you did a good job with these and they're um, very creative